A shutdown on Interstate 80 that lasts all morning and a decent chunk of the afternoon. You see the aftermath there. Two people are hurt after Iowa State Patrol says a semi started everything by rolling over in the middle of the eastbound lanes there on I-80 near Highway 1. Three other semis ended up hitting it. You see one of them smoking there. A number of the other vehicles got involved too as you see everything just dumped over and everything like that. We have certainly seen our share of crashes on the interstate. Not exactly anything out of the ordinary, but big pileups like this, shutdowns that last for hours. Something maybe you'd expect in the winter, not the middle of summer, certainly. I was News Now reporter Cedric Bolton the is following the crash and the closure tonight. When you have a situation with four semis getting together and having a crash with that, um, the damage is a lot more. The area on the interstate covered is a lot more because they don't just stop. They go a lot further distance with the weight. And so by the time you have all those components put together, um, it just took a lot longer to clean up than we when we would have liked. I mean, we would have liked to have been done sooner. Those four semis colliding before 530 Monday morning, and it took about nine hours for crews to clear the scene, which you can imagine caused a big headache for hundreds of islands. We were just running errands and just having fun today and got stuck in traffic. Rochelle Watson was one of many people who took a detour to miss the blockage. As we came forward, we saw an opening. So we just kind of lucked out. So we were able to drive through the opening and we were right by the off ramp. So we were able to get off and go across town and get on Highway 6 and take that to the West Liberty exit. Otherwise, we would have been stuck on the interstate for hours today. But it was only a matter of time until other drivers got a similar idea to go down Highway 1. There was a lot of traffic going heading towards Highway 1, which turns into Highway 6. So we had to deal with that too. So it was a little slow going, but eventually we got there and got the heck out of our city. <laughs> the DOT and State Patrol say they work together to make sure everyone is safe and traffic can move as quickly as possible. They encourage drivers to do their part by staying focused on the road. Due to a driver error, a problem, we had a semi that lost control and crashed to start this off. And with that in mind, everybody has to keep their head up. Today while I was directing traffic, People were on their phones pulling up to our intersection. They weren't paying attention. Those are things that caused those secondary and third crashes. Sater Bolson III, Iowa's News Now.